points to avoid elimination. Remember, if you are eliminated or caught cheating, Red lines. this hell week is Lovely. over. Oh, no, it's mountains. Hmm. They did not expect that. Oh well. Initiating time of day synchronization and weather simulation. Apply. I should be relatively safe from other people, but never should you let your guard down. I was gonna say, that's a strong start until they only decide to give me 50 points. Awesome. Awesome to the max. Yep, well, so much for that start. So much for that start indeed. Followed by stamina. I was able to at least I was able to pick up the pistol ammo but in my case uh, even if I land a hit square on the head uh, it won't kill them but hey try do trying to be positive trying to be positive who knows? people slowly coming in which is always nice because that means potentially even more points Another 250 lost. That's 500 points because of bugs. Well, 450. So half of my score.
Oh. Well. Hey, at least I'm getting points, right? Right. Oh, I did get the points, but oh. this is how I died last time. It's one thing when it happens every now and then, but right now these bugs are bugs are constantly constantly happening. It's completely breaking the game. Uh, and it really should be fixed. I'm forced to open. I'm pretty much also because of this box forced to open the ammo crates whenever I get a chance because this kind of sh shit. There's no reliable way to pick up ammo either. So even if you do find a weapon that you can finally pick up, that doesn't mean you can reliably find the ammo for it because you can't even pick up the ammo. So now you have to pretty much open every crate that you come across. And that is bad. It, 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 there's no uh, simple other way uh, of it. So, like, it needs to be fixed. I mean, I love this game. It's really great. That's why I play it. But it you get a box like this plaguing, like um, you know, it's no more skill. It's not about skill right now. As nearly as much as it should be. Now you solely rely on whatever the game bugs you or doesn't bug you. So someone may argue that, hey, you know, but he killed you with pistol, or they, you know, people keep killing me with the pistol when I'm using a pistol. Yeah, that's fine. But in reality, like in last game, I have had found both SMG and AR. I found the AR before I even saw the guy. And that's uh, right, I, SMG, as I was uh, in the middle of fight before we opened fire again. And he just had a pistol. He had not opened either one of those boxes. So, you know, by that logic, I had the upper hand to begin with. And the outcome would have been completely different if I had that AR. He would have been dead. Since the first time I opened fire at him. And yeah. Well, so there you have it. There was another SMG. 
like I already found both weapons but I don't have them and if I would have I in total I have lost over 30,000 points if you were uh, if you were to look at the leaderboard because of this bug with the boxes I have lost all worth 30,000 points. Oh, around 30,000 points. Just because of these bugs running around. That's how often they happen. That's 10 games if you get uh, 3,000 at average. 10 games worth of points lost because y these bugs. And, well, I'm sort of tired right now, so that already makes me in a somewhat bad mood, but like this bug is getting more and more out of hands, and uh, yeah, I just hope it will get fixed soon, because uh, it's very hard to, you know, not enjoy, like I don't mind losing when it's, uh, you know, when it comes to down myself, like, okay, I lost because uh, I wasn't good enough or something like that. But right now, I'm mostly losing and all that kind of shit because of this kind of shit going on right now. Still, game is good, but oh, good lord, I'm getting so mad for getting into these. User joined your oh my. Running into these bugs all the time. Sucks to be you, I guess. Alright, go to bed, Blade. <laughs> I've been very busy mm -hmm. over the last hour. You don't say. Mm. I came here to say goodnight, Finn. Okay. And I hope you don't choke on your tongue while you sleep. Uh huh. I don't have these issues that you do, Blade. And yeah, for me, it's like, yeah, no problem, I can still keep up with the points, as you can see. I'm in a pretty staggering lead, basically. Wood is doing pretty good, but, um... Yeah, for someone who may not be as, you know, familiar where the boxes are, something like that, a constant box like this will end up crippling the game completely. Meaning that they won't be getting enough points, and uh, uh, they can't even fight against the other people because they can't pick up the gun. Like, uh, even if I can't find a gun, and they would come across me, they would have found us some dude before. But hey, they can't use it because they couldn't pick it up.
Also, people are taking a full advantage of the fact that you can check anyone on your friend list where their location is. So, uh, you can go and hunt them down, since you know what map they are in. And you can keep monitoring if, in case they switch zones, so you... Before you switch zones, you can check if they're still there, or if you arrive, you can check if they're still there. And if you can't seem to find them, you can check if they're still there. If it was just one of these bugs happening at one time, that, you know, would be, you know, wouldn't be nearly as bad. But it's combination of all of these at the same time that is unex unacceptable. And it shouldn't be happening. Yeah, a little bit, uh... A little bit negativity. It's always good. There needs to be a criticism. Otherwise you won't learn anything new. And, uh... I'm, I'm sure these bugs are already know, but, uh... Just can't address how important it is that these get fixed because you know if the, <laughs> if the guy at the t number one spot on leaderboard can't enj enjoy the game what makes you think that the other people will with these bugs That's around 600 points lost by now. And right now it's going better than usual. I mean, well, well I better not jinx it. As soon as I get to some other map, I'm gonna be running into even more issues. Also, it doesn't help that not only that I'm uh, I'm tired, I'm also hungry. So, and when the, this crap keeps happening, it's like fuelly, fueling the anger. It's like I'm turning into fucking Hulk and want to bash, bash a wall and like. Rrr! But uh, unlike what Firaxis does, uh, 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 these bugs will be fixed, that's for sure. Uh, whereas, you know, uh, XCOM is probably a good example. Like, I want to like that game, but it's so fucking broken. I'm talking about Enemy Unknown and Enemy Within. It's like, yay, we released this. We are releasing a new game. And uh, I go back to the old one, and even the project, re uh, whatever the long war mode and it's like yeah this is good it has great features but jesus fucking christ the game is so goddamn broken like uh you can go fucking flank the enemy and turns out the enemy is not flanked it, like uh, if, when you're playing on a high difficulty you are taking a risk it doesn't matter how carefully you play the game can just pull a fucking uh a broken ass fucking what should we call it fucking like hey broken broken card out of it and turns out oh the enemy is not only the enemy is in the flanked but that enemy will one shot your best guy next turn despite being in a heavy cover uh, heavy cover hunkered down not flanked crap like that in some titan armor bullshit And, okay, maybe it doesn't outright kill the, uh, 
you know, it, it'll only wound your guy, so you, uh, you know, you can revive that guy, right? No. He's 30 meters in the air with the circle. So when you move the medic under that circle, what do you know? You can't revive that guy. He's completely lost. And that's what I mean by Firaxis and the fucking x being so goddamn broken. And it's a bug that keeps happening all the fucking time. So, you know, if you're playing... I, I love to play Iron Man mode, which... But it forces me to save scum all the time because this kind of bullshit happening. Not to mention the 90% fucking... 98% chances of missing five, five turns in a row is like... Sure. What are the odds of that? I mean, I'm sure it happens sooner or later, but when... When you have a 98% chance, but you keep missing 50% of the time... Something doesn't add up, so it doesn't matter what the fuck that percentage to hit is. Yeah, it's more like percentage to miss, if you ask for me. And I have put, like, 300 hours to that game. And not to mention this, the whole fucking uh, cyber disk, uh, when they get noted, they will teleport somewhere else and turns out, oh, you know what, they are right behind you or something like that. Fucking bollocks. So they, they go out of line of sight and teleport to the other side of the map. So, you know, you can go chase it down and it's like, well, hold on a second, where the fuck did it go? And it shows up like five turns later with a whole different group. Well, appears out of some random ass location. And this is the kind of shit that I'm talking about. Like, I want to love the game, but goddammit, fix it first before you go to fucking uh, a sequel to that game. I mean, the impossible is already bollocks at this. The AI is simply cheating. It's not hard. It's simply AI cheating. Like, it's... They don't even bother trying to make it actually hard. They simply give the enemy... Higher chance to hit, uh, give them more health, make them do more damage, and give them more crit. That's all it is. Just, you know, make the enemy bullet sponges with higher damage, higher chance to hit to you, despite it being in heavy cover, or anything like that. So, it's like, and you can't use any strategies on them, I, he, unless you hug the wall, and it's like, oh, trying to bait them into Overwatch or Sniper Fire or something like that. Yeah, you have, like, one fucking strategy to do with that. That, That's a bad game design, right there. And this is one ranty-ass video, but, uh, just goes to show, it doesn't matter how good your game is, if it's broken, it doesn't matter, track monkey shit, like... It's broken. Nobody likes to play a broken game, no matter how good it is. And it brings down even your greatest defender, in a sense. Well, um, oh, your greatest supporters. It's very hard to support, keep supporting like, uh, but, uh, but in this case, it's like the Firaxis games. Like, uh, I want to like that game, but like I said, if you can't fix your goddamn game, and there's no way I'm ever gonna support you. Um, and Estella Marines is no different, but uh, <laughs> like I, I'm pretty sure they're already working on fix for this. I mean, well, to be fair, this fix appeared with the Hotfix 3. I mean, this bug, not a fix. This bug, these bugs started with the Hotfix 3. And I'm sure there will be a Hotfix 4 soon that hopefully fixes this giant mess. But, um, yeah. Uh, I've got six minutes left to rant more. So, you know, it, it's good. If you only say good things about game, then something's wrong with you. There's always something wrong with the uh, game. And that's how you know a true supporter is that when you do wrong, they point it out. Like, you know... Uh, that's the difference between a fanboy and uh, an actual fan. A fanboy just keeps, would ignore this kind of bullshit going on. A fan points out, like I'm doing right now, I'm like, this is unacceptable, you can't do this, like, you need to fix this. Excuse me as I drool.
and like a, a fan uh, likes the game and accept its faults, but there are only so much you can accept. Like you need to draw the line somewhere, and this is where I draw I draw the line. Like I I may uh, I'm just uh, agitated because a couple of games have gone. Uh, there have been a lot of games lately that have would have probably gone differently ha if these uh, these bugs didn't exist. So uh, it's kind of hindering my performance and thus hindering my fun. So of course I'm mad, but uh, God damn, this is a good game. <laughs> as soon as this. As soon as these broken bugs get fixed, it's gonna be... It's gonna be really much fun again. But right now, it's, uh... It really makes it hard to enjoy the Hell Week. What, with what is going on. But even even with these bugs, as you can see, I have 4,000 points. But, uh... It would be almost 5,000 points by now without the bugs and uh, yeah like I can keep up the score that's fine I don't really care about the score but it's just a fact that you know these bugs affect the outcome of the game and that's something that you know it just kills the mood of the game you can't reliably rely on your skill you're relying that like it's a survival game so in the survival you're pretty m should be relying on yourself right well I finally found a gun to be fair I have, haven't been really looking for a gun since I lost the I haven't come across a gun to be able to pick up <laughs> anyway or try to pick up but uh, like at this part of the game do I even need this gun a like by the time I manage to uh, find a functional gun fun functional box with a gun it's already too late like and that's what's the problem with these bugs and like I said survival game like it relies on you actually surviving doing your best to survive but wait when uh, the game decides to like uh, hinder you with something that shouldn't be happening then uh, it's not survival anymore it's just something completely else it's hearthstone <laughs> hope that you get them cards that you want And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward for these bugs to get fixed. Right now, I can't enjoy Hellwig as much as it is. Right now, I'm just grinding for points. That's all I'm doing. I'm not e in exactly enjoying what's going on. And it, it is simple. The bugs really kill the mood. And the developers understand, of course. And they are fixing it. So, you know, just say. That's 4,000... That's uh, 5,000 points. Well, I lost... Around thousand points with that, but um, hey, at least you guys saw. Are saved to your if you want to f get the points, just follow that route that I just made, and boom, voila, you got a lot of points. Uh, you got some two fifties there. So if you see boxes in the 250 location, uh, there will be two fifty over there. So remember, take make routes, make routes, and try to avoid going the same path. Like, try to avoid going similar paths. Take a route that has a l l wide field of view that covers as much area as possible. So, try to be efficient and uh, scan basically an entire map with uh, not overlapping but maybe crossing paths. Yeah. So, anyway, see you guys on the next Hell Week. Wow, bow chicka bow wow.